The Korean Science, Information and Communication Technology Ministry, in collaboration with the Indonesian Cooperatives and Small and Medium Enterprises Ministry, held the 2023 ASEAN Korea AI Youth Festa on Wednesday. This year's event featured ASEAN's prosperity through AI as the main theme. ASEAN is a region with a majority of young generations and is a rapidly growing digital market. During the event, some startups shared their success stories to inspire young entrepreneurs including Halodog from Indonesia and Kleon and Return Technology from South Korea. And now I have the privilege of sitting down here with Mr. Si Yong Lee. He's a CEO and also a founder of Return Technology, a South Korean powerhouse in AI generative field. So, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay, so when it comes to the significance of AI development, uh, how important is that and how written technology contribute to it? So as you know, uh, generative AI is not something that everyone uses on a daily basis yet. So it's like the beginning of the internet, but it will soon be widely used all over the world. So in short, our mission is to uh, bring AGI closure to people. So we are telling people how easy and useful AI technology is through the daily uses, use cases or service. So we are providing personalization AI. Okay, but uh, what are the key features of this uh, written technology and how do they enhance the AI capabilities? So the limitation of current generative AI is that uh, AI model only answer within the learning data. So it's just that AI doesn't know things like real-time information and connection to daily service, etc. So the written plugin is a technology that solves this problem. Uh, connecting our daily services like shopping, searching, news, and mobility so that AI can be smarter and more useful. I see. So the more input, the more it enhances its capabilities. Okay, but can you also tell us about the other feature from the written technology? Uh, you have written studio, and uh, what is that? And uh, you know, like how that feature uh, can make the AI development uh, more accessible. Uh, written studio is a service that uh, helps everyone who is not familiar with coding to create their own AI application. So Written Studio is no-code AI application builder, and the thousands of AI applications created here and available on the AI App Store, the Written Store. So Written Studio is AI application builder with no-code, and Written Store is uh, AI application marketplace like a App Store. So recently your company received a Serie A funding. So can you tell us more about that and how that funding actually helps support the growth of written technology? First of all, uh, we are the first generative AI service in, launched in Korea. So we got uh, over a million users in a very short time. And we didn't stop there and did a lot of experiment and product updates. So as its business growth and remarkable achievement have been uh, demonstrated in the generative AI field, uh, investors have recognized and evaluated uh, its potential to make investment decisions. So currently we are aiming for the next portal in the era of AI. So uh, we are hiring the best people in each field and accelerating the development of autonomous AI agents technology. So as we all know that generative AI is currently having its moment, but how do you differentiate uh, written technology from other uh, generative AI and then also what is your future plan? So uh, our uh, ultimate goal and core value is to make everyone to focus on their happiness by providing AI agents so that everyone could realize the happiness and leave hard and difficult tasks to the AI agent to carry out. So next portal means creating the AI super app. So where all AI agents coexist. So written technologies is the uh, the most optimized company 
uh, utilizing AI models, providing the uh, best performance to the user. So we will do our best to bring AI closer to people, and then uh, we expand like non-English market. So we already go, uh, entered a uh, Japanese market and this ASEAN too. Some 132 teams of young entrepreneurs from ASEAN also participated in a pitching competition where Lee took part as one of the judges. The competition ended with a victory of an Indonesian startup who won a silver award worth 10,000 US dollars. This project does not only highlight South Korea's efforts to increase solidarity with ASEAN through digital innovation flagship, but also narrow the digital divide, while also supporting the economic growth of ASEAN states in the long run. Syarah Mediana, Yasir Alam, 4C Today.